long, long, long day today out early this morning helping somebody find a house. We found a house. They moved in. Um, and we had some conversation today, and I just wanted to share this with you um, because it's the little details that matter. And oftentimes it's not talked about a lot. So let's have a chit chat about it. So particularly this is for those of you all that are looking at moving to Medina. Um, you know, everybody wants to live in the north side of town where it's more modern and more pretty and more um, beautiful or, or new or be mainly because it looks like home. You know, so, but there's a price you pay for that. Typically the homes are much more expensive um, which is not an issue for many if your issues are not financial. But the other hidden costs uh, that comes with that, that many people don't factor in, is that when you start to eat out in those same areas that you live in, particularly in the north, it's going to cost you a lot more money to eat. So going to restaurants are going to cost a lot more money in those more wealthier sides of towns or more affluent side of town. So for example, uh, there's a young lady that recently arrived and she's like, man, I'm not seeing the savings cartels. Where's all the savings at? I, I'm not, I'm, I feel like I'm spending more money. And it, well, you live in one of the most wealthiest neighborhoods um, in Medina, Montebello. So the places you go out to eat is going to cost more. For example, they went out, her and her son went out to eat at a restaurant, um, just the two of them, a sushi bar, $60. You know, you start doing that every day, that can easily turn into $1,800. Um, start to get, per month, the U.S. dollars, that can start to get costly, that start to cut into your budget. So, Factor that in, when you live on the more affluent side of town, everything on that side of town costs more. Um, there was another lady um, who went to get her teeth clean. Um, I talked to her today, and she was telling me they charged her like $90. Again, she's on the wealthier side of town, the more affluent side of town. Um, a lot more foreigners live on that side. Um, so of course, uh, costs tend to be much more expensive and this was for cleaning, a deep cleaning. I went on the other side of town down in the South and I got my teeth cleaned for $15. I think it's like 18 us dollars. Went back, you know, me and my, t and my kids, you know, braces on that side. The lady was going to charge us $250 for braces for the kids. And then it was going to be $25 per month to come in for the adjustment month to month. Compared to cost of braces in the States to be four or $5,000 and you're paying almost $100 a month for the adjustments. So, but that's on the South side. Now, another lady went to go get her braces. I think she said they charged her like $700, $800. And then I think she paid 50 or 60 for the checkup, monthly checkup. But again, that's what I'm saying. These are the hidden costs to living on in certain neighborhoods or certain areas. So not just food costs being more expensive. You know, if you need to go to the veterinarian, it's gonna cost you more on that more affluent side of town. So if you have a dog or cat or any other pet, it's gonna cost you more money to go to the vet. When you wanna go see the doctor, it's gonna cost you more money to go see the doctor just because of where you live. So the neighborhood that the lady signed the contract on that they made a deposit on um, is on the east side of town. And I'm just looking at my messages. Um, on the east side of town, and guess what? Going to the doctor, very cheap. Um, we were riding by, I saw a sign, you know, on my side of town where I'm at now, getting that chicken coop.
cooked on the side of the road when the lady cooked that chicken on the side of the road with 100 pesos, um, which is about six bucks now. But on the other side, it's like 65 pesos. No, it don't sound like it's a lot, but that's about a 35 peso difference. Uh, you know, it's dollar fifty, dollar two dollars almost. Um, that adds up, especially if you buy chicken two and three days a week. So the water, you know, some side of town when I go fill my five gallon water jug, it's it's ten pesos, which is about fifty cent. Uh, well, a little more, but on some other side of town, it's like twenty pesos. You know, almost double or fifteen pesos. You know what I mean? For the same five gallon jug. So services and even some of your utilities will cost more money. Your your lights, your internet. Um, I've personally seen that the groceries in the grocery store in the same chain, say say Drowy, same food costs less on certain side of the town for the same item than it does up, say, in in the northern part of town. So be mindful of that when you factor in your budget. You get a more authentic, uh, more authentic, what's the word I'm looking for? You get the real experience when you live in these more traditional neighborhoods. Hop in the car. If you want to go on to the fancy mall, you can hop in the Uber and go up there. But I promise you, the experience and living when the lady who got this house today when we left we came around the block drove around three blocks and I pointed to I said you got this entire strip so we turned the corner there was a lady selling chicken there was a guy selling pizza there was a guy selling tacos there was a guy selling fresh juices there was a fruitaria where they have fruits and vegetables. There was a laundry mat where they wash your clothes. Then there was another spot that solely just iron your clothes. You can just drop your clothes off and they iron it. And that, and I was like, girl, we, and then we went past a plaza with all these restaurants. And I was like, girl, you ain't seen nothing. I was like, we came out on the end. I think this strip goes an entire mile back in the opposite direction with all these restaurants of every kind and small businesses of every kind on each side of the road. You know what I mean? And so she was like, wow. Like, you got all of this. And that is unique. That type of setup is unique to... It, it's not like that in the more modern northern side because it's not... It doesn't look as pretty and as aesthetic as, as, as the, the north side of town they, that they want it to be. So, think wisely, think clearly. You, you get more house for you, for the same, you know, you get more house. So if your budget is, let's say 10,000 pesos a month or 12,000 pesos a month, you're gonna get more house on the east, the south, the west, than you are in the north. Now, in the north, you go, there are some small pockets in every neighborhood where you might be able to find a deal. You know, in my previous video, y'all saw us going out looking at houses over the weekend. Um, the house that we've got, this lady, there was a house that we looked at for like 16,000 pesos over the weekend, had a pool, big massive house, found almost the same thing for 14,000 in the east. And it was better, fully furnished, had a bigger pool, washer and dryer. The bedrooms were furnished, air conditioning in all the bedrooms and the living room. Um, a humongous yard that was already paved out and decorated very well. Um, Set a patio furniture out there if you want. House fully stocked with forks, spoons, knives, silverware, toaster, toaster oven, microwave. Uh, even had a deep freezer. 
you know what I mean, um, had everything. 14,000 pesos, beautiful, beautiful. That was a better deal, you know what I mean? Um, and I mean, you know, there's people, you know, so and is situated in on, on, on the east side of town. Accessibility to everything. Yeah, was that the east? Yeah, east side. Got everything she needs. And because she lives on that side of town, when she goes out to eat, it's going to be drastically cheaper. When she take her pet to the veterinarian, it's going to be drastically cheaper. When she take her, um, when she goes to the dentist, it's going to be drastically cheaper. When she goes see the doctor, it's going to be drastically cheaper. And like I said, when she go out to eat, when she go out for dessert, drastically cheaper. When she brings her family and friends come to town to hang out, it's going to be drastically cheaper. And the authenticity and experience is going to be real. Both at nighttime, that place come alive. With all the locals, they go out. There's parks all over the place. Uh, vendors come out. They're selling all kinds of stuff. They have these tiangis, which is like swap meets. The tents go up at 7 o'clock. And everybody's out there just having a good time, snacking on all types of food, getting deals on clothes, handmade stuff, everything. So you do yourself an injustice by coming here and trying to live like you did in the States, Little America. You don't want, I promise you, you don't want to be in Little America. I did it. I, I done that. You know what I mean? When I first got here. And... You know, so I just wanted to share this tip with you. It's going to cost you more living in the areas where it's uh, like the states. So I'm not saying you have to go all out because all of these areas that I'm talking about is within the perimeter, on the inside of the perimeter in Medina. So you, 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 you still... You don't have to go far. Now, obviously, if you go outside the perimeter and way out to further, you know, other additional cities, 30 minutes out, 45 minutes out, you can get even better deals. You know what I mean? But you can still have the same experience on this side in the in Medica and get some great deals. So that's all I wanted to share with you. Um, I'm going to rest up for the rest of the day. Had a long day. And we found this lady's house inside of two days. Not that home run, y'all. Home run. Um, we're getting, I'm getting booked up a lot. So, like I said, our price is going to be increasing. I'm going to be taking on less folks because it's becoming quite a chore. It's becoming work, work. And honestly, I ain't come here to do that kind of work, to be working like I was working back in the States. It's fun, but it's starting to run its course. And I'm ready to do some other stuff. So if you're looking for a place, need some help, better hurry up. Because I'm about to be done. <laughs>